Thank you for the opportunity to present Mach, the pluggable metric storage engine for the age of observability. I am Franco Solieza, a third year PhD student at Brown University, and this work is done jointly with Intel and Slack. Modern software systems are complex and are frequently broken into many component microservices. Managing these microservices requires visibility into the system state using high volumes of data generated by the system reflecting this state. When some symptom of an issue occurs, like some slowdown in the front end, engineers would look through these data to get alerted of the symptom, identify the root cause, and resolve the issue. This process of observing and managing system state is called observability. An example of observability in action occurred on May 12 when Slack experienced one of its largest outages. Although to the user the outage lasted 48 minutes, triggering the issue, finding it, diagnosing it, and resolving it was a process that lasted more than eight hours and involved sifting through petabytes of data. In this presentation, I'll describe what makes end-to-end -end observability difficult and how Mock, our metric store developed at Brown and Intel, solves these problems for critical data type and observability, metrics. Metrics is numeric data comprised of samples, seen here on the left. Each sample has a timestamp when the sample was generated or measured, a variable set of labels, and a set of values. The combination of labels and values define a metric or the data source of this sample. We can think of metrics as having two dimensions, data sources and time. Although we typically think of lots of data as accumulating over time, as in the blue box, Observability is concerned with lots of recent data across many data sources or metrics, as in the green box. For a sense of scale, in a day, Slack collects data from 4 billion sources, generating 12 million samples per second, resulting in 12 terabytes of compressed data each day. See our SIGMOD record paper for more details. In other words, the metrics workload has three defining characteristics. It is mostly in order, exhibits a high volume of small writes from many data sources, and queries are typically on recent data. We highlight three state-of-the-art storage strategies. The most general approach are write-optimized key-value stores like RocksDB. These pluggable libraries provide a simple API, but are not designed with the types of data and workloads in observability. For example, LSM trees have write amplification, which severely limits its ingestion throughput. More specific to the time-oriented data in observability are fully featured time series databases like InfluxDB. Although they are designed for time series data, they are not designed for the observability workload and typically have insufficient write throughput for the observability domain. Its generality is its downfall. By supporting any and all operations on any and all types from any and all domains, it fails to provide the necessary performance needed in observability. Currently, the industry has coalesced around Prometheus, a monolithic metric store designed for observability. Although Prometheus is faster than its current alternatives at ingesting data, its design decisions like supporting only univariate sources and contention in its write path present severe limitations on its write throughput. Being a monolithic application, it is also extremely narrow and complex. It can only ingest data using scrapers, and a complex system of tools are needed to attach applications to Prometheus, severely limiting the flexibility an application has over the semantics of its metrics data. Mock, the metric storage engine we are designing, addresses the limitations of each of these approaches. Mock is designed with three requirements in mind. First, because of the complexity of modern microservices, we need metric stores to have a simple and pluggable design, allowing a wide range of applications to enforce their own requirements or semantics. Second, it should prioritize writes and ingestion, providing an API that encourages high write performance. Finally, it needs to provide fast enough queries on recent data. These requirements minimize time to insight the time it takes to understand a complex system. By gathering higher data volumes with rich semantics from many heterogeneous applications, 
and providing fast access to recent data. We'll talk about the first two in this talk, and we refer you to our paper for the third. As we discussed, the ecosystem in which Mock will fit in is fairly complex. Mock functions as a pluggable library similar to RocksDB or other key value stores. Each of the many metric sources or querying applications might have their own requirements, and a pluggable design allows for this complexity. Various applications push samples into Mock using its Push API. It leaves application-specific concerns like pre-processing or ordering semantics up to the application. Each application might also have its own preferred way of writing or generating metrics data. Similarly, applications might want to query map Mock using its Get Range API in different ways. Dashboards might query data for the past 24 hours, while alerts might care about the past five minutes, and ad hoc queries might want interactive results on the most recent data. As a pluggable library with a minimal API, Mock is deliberately simple to allow for custom semantics required in complex systems. The Mock storage engine provides very high write performance. Mock does so by taking advantage of two key insights about the writing applications on the left side of this figure. First, the high volume write workloads from these applications are mostly in order. And second, these data sources are independent of each other. Let's look inside the box. Metrics engines like Prometheus are monolithic applications where multiple writers contend in the write path. Instead, Mock's key idea is to behave as a set of loosely coordinated writers that have almost no contention in the write path. Though each writer can write data for multiple sources, each source is, is assigned only one writer. The write path is also optimized to amortize costs over many small writes while making every write queryable. When a source writes data, the writer looks up its relevant data items and pushes the write to a fixed size block in, of memory we call an active segment, the blue box. Being uncompressed and in memory, this serves as the first level of recent data. When the active segment is full, it is compressed and written to another fixed size block of memory we call an active block, the green box. Being compressed and in memory, this serves as the second level of recent data. Finally, when this block is full, the block is written to a file dedicated to the writer. The writer periodically closes the file and opens a new file with an ID taken from a global atomic counter. These three levels, the active segment, active block, and persistent blocks are all immediately queryable through the global state. Our preliminary evaluations show that with this design, Mock maintains high write throughput across many data sources and maintains recent data in fast memory while persisting historical data to storage. To evaluate Mock's core ideas, we ran experiments using three months of server monitoring data consisting of univariate and multivariate sources with roughly 32,000 samples per source. To simulate many more sources, we randomly reuse the sources of data. We run these experiments on an Ubuntu server with 36 cores, 380 gigabytes of RAM, and 3.2 terabytes of SSD. In this presentation, we only show experiments on ingestion throughput. First, we evaluated how Mach's loose coordination scales with the number of writers. The x-axis shows the number of writer threads, and the y-axis shows write throughput in millions of floats per second. We compare Mach in green with Prometheus in orange, InfluxDB in blue, and RocksDB in red. We run the experiment with univariate data on the left and multivariate data on the right. We have three key takeaways. First, we see that with one thread, Mach is about two times faster than Prometheus due to our efficient write path. However, Mach scales far better with more writers than Prometheus. Secondly, we see that amortizing multiple values with multivariate sources provides a significant increase in write throughput, something Prometheus can't do. Third, among the competitors, only Prometheus provides some reasonable write performance. 
InfluxDB and RocksDB are about five times slower than Prometheus. And these results are consistent at different ZIF distributions. Next, we evaluated Mach's ability to ingest data from many sources. The x-axis shows the number of data sources, and the y-axis also shows write throughput in millions of floats per second. We use 32 writer threads in this experiment. Because of Mach's ability to scale with the number of writers, it can handle many sources far better than Prometheus. At 1 million sources writing to a single machine, Mach achieves two times Prometheus's peak write throughput. We also see the same write throughput increase when writing multivariate data, and both InfluxDB and RocksDB timed out in this experiment. So, where do we go from here? Today, we've shown that Mach is a high-performance pluggable storage engine for metrics and observability. Mach is a critical library in our broader vision of the observability ecosystem. Although many parts of the ecosystem exhibit similar workload characteristics as metrics, we've previously observed that it is still a hodgepodge of tools. By allowing flexible application semantics, gathering more data, and making recent data immediately available with a simple-to-use API, Mach and its key ideas are the first step in unifying this ecosystem around a core set of abstractions. These abstractions will significantly reduce time to insight in the observability of complex systems like microservices. Thank you.